Queensland fishermen have been warned they may be inadvertently killing fish they throw back into the water because of a condition called Barrett trauma. Fishing experts say there are tools people can use that could save thousands of fish. This red emperor has an inflated swim bladder. The condition is known as Barrett trauma. It's like getting the bends. Uh, when they're retrieved quickly or from deep water, the bladder blows up and then when you go to return them, they, they can't go down into the water, they float. Of course, they die. The yearly six-week closure on snapper, pearl perch and pteroglans started today. But it doesn't mean these breeds won't be accidentally caught. Fishermen are required to throw them back. But if the swim bladder isn't punctured, the fish will die anyway. A venting tool can safely pierce the swim bladder, saving the fish. So the venting tool just punctures in there the swim bladder and it releases, you hear that shh, and the air releases, and then you can just safely place the fish back in the water. Keen angler Bob Linane says every fishing store should sell the venting tools. I think a little bit of uh, education to the commercial. A normal needle can be used, but this device makes the process safer. Pick one up out of his tackle box, drove it under his fingernail up to the first joint. He then spent three months fighting the infection. Some anglers say there should be more education available to the industry about what to do with fish that are caught by mistake. Tom McLean, 7 News.